Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this will be for the week of July 16th through the 22nd. And we're going to be using the Angels of Abundance Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Another beautiful, beautiful deck, one of her newer decks. And let's just take a look at the cards here. And let's get started. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the week, we have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And middle of the week, release resentments about money. And the end of the week, employment change. Wow. Okay. So the first card, look at how colorful these cards are. Beautiful, beautiful deck, gentle energy. This one says, the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes your own reward. Yes. Exercise is so important for our mind and our body, okay? As we're exercising, we're strengthening our bones, we're strengthening our muscles. As we're exercising, our body releases endorphins in our brain, which is a feel-good hormone. It gives us a sense of peace and inner tranquility. I was never the type to exercise until my job got to the point where the stress level was so bad, I needed to do something. And I wanted to do something that I was going to be able to improve both my mind and body. So now I do make sure that I exercise at least five times a week. Um, I do a lot of um, cardio, weightlifting. If stuff like that isn't for you, that's fine. Not everybody is into that. You can go for a nice walk, bike riding. Anything that's going to get you up and moving, because when we remain in a sedentary state of, of existence every day, some of us may sit at a desk in an office, some of us may be at home um, sitting around, what's happening is, is your body is starting to slow down and your energy level is depleting as well. So it's very important that you try to get some exercise into your life, even if it's a short walk every day. Everything will count. At the end of the week, it really adds up. And then release resentments about money. Beautiful angel. And it's saying, yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes the abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool as you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Yes, there's just too much materialism out there. And greed is one of the ugliest forms that I could even mention when it comes to money. It seems that people will do anything for money. They, they have no morals, no ethics, no, no sense of respect or decency for themselves. When you don't focus so much on the money, okay, and you focus more on people, okay, which are more important than material things, Okay, the people in our lives wanting to help people, wanting to do something for someone who can't possibly pay you back in return. That's where the feeling of success to me in life is. Not how many material things you could accumulate, not how much money you're making. Sure, we all need money to pay our bills. And yes, we do want to get paid fairly for the jobs we're doing. But what I'm getting from this card and, and, and what I'm getting for, from spirit is, is we're to see money as a tool to help people, not, not a tool used as, you know, elevating our status, okay? We need to not place so much attention and importance on money where we ignore our friends, family, and, and things that really matter in life. And you'd be surprised when you stop focusing on it, Financial abundance and, and things tend to flow better, okay? But when we're all caught up in money and how much we're making and what we're going to buy next, it, it's, not, it's not a way to live because that's living in the ego. And the ego is never satisfied. Uh, the more you buy, the more you want. So this is telling me here to shift the focus on how maybe you can help people 
okay, instead of what you can get. And employment change. We have a beautiful horse, beautiful colors in these cards. Every card is just so beautiful with the, the energy and the artwork and, and the choice of colors. This one here is saying your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old, welcome the new. You're being supported each step of the way. Yes, these two cards are synchronized. This is telling you that, yes, money, okay, in, 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 mean, in means of helping people and using it to help rather than to hoard things and accumulate things. And then this here is saying career change, okay? So maybe you have a job where you make a lot of money, but you're miserable. I was one of those people. I mean, it wasn't worth it. The paycheck, yes, I needed money to survive, but was I willing to, to work for a greedy company and sell my soul every day just for the almighty dollar? No, no. What you want to do is you may want to consider changing what you're doing as far as your career. I know a lot of people out there are working these nine to five jobs. They're stuck in an office, maybe stuck in a cubicle. Those types of jobs are real soul crushers. I was in one of them for many, many years. And every day I, I didn't know whether to stay or go. I kept on asking God and the angels, please give me a sign. Tell me what to do. I, I can't, I, I, this isn't my heart anymore. I don't care about this money. I want to help people. And I'm sure there's people out there that want to do the same thing. You may want to get into Reiki healing. You may want to become a life coach. You want to do something to help people. Okay? And you can also make a living doing that. And it may be not as much money as you're making now. But trust me, your happiness and your health is what matter. Okay? Money is a means of surviving. But it shouldn't be the, the end all of all things. It shouldn't be your primary focus where you're just driven by it every day. So it it's, looks like some people out there that are watching this video are just looking for that initial nudge to maybe leave their situation career-wise and do something that's more fulfilling. And I'm not saying to leave your day job, but I would suggest maybe checking into some other types of studies or things that you've always wanted to do that would be so much more fulfilling that are going to bring you so much more happiness. And believe me, when I look back, I, I just, I'm not that same person back there. My life has changed in so many positive ways. Oh, I, I could write a book on it and maybe someday I will write a book on it to share exactly what I went through and how the, the, the change of events just led me to where I am now. Because I really didn't know where I was heading. I just knew that I didn't want to continue doing what I was doing for the rest of my life. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.